Welcome to the Weekly Well. You know, Easter weekend is only four short weeks away. And so what I'd like to do over the next little bit, little uh, couple of weeks, is to go through some of the things, the situations and experiences that Jesus faces as he walks this road to the cross. In Matthew 26, we have the account of the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus praying in the garden. Now, Jesus knows what lies ahead for him. He knows the will of his Father, and he knows what he must do in order to save this world that he loves. But I simply cannot imagine the anguish that he must be going through, knowing what lies ahead of him, how tormented he must be. And it's interesting that in the Gospel of Luke, it talks about Jesus' sweat so intense, it's like drops of blood falling to the ground. But in spite of all of the difficulty of that moment, in spite of all of the anguish that he is going through, Jesus still is committed to submitting to the will of his Father. He says in Matthew chapter 26, he says, Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. I can only imagine how difficult that statement must have been for Jesus to say. And even though I don't deal with anything nearly as intense as that, but I wonder how often am I willing to submit to the will of my Heavenly Father? How often do I place His agenda over mine? Or do I usually do it the other way around? and have my own agenda and my own will take precedent. I pray that you would take encouragement from these words of Scripture and that we would take a, use the model of Jesus and take encouragement from His submission to His Father and that we would submit our lives and our will and our agenda to God's will and may He use us as we do that. I pray that you would submit your life to the will of your Heavenly Father. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.